Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you all details regarding the calculation of the weight during the modeling, attaching geometry to the assembly or how to manage information in the drawing. So everything in one video tutorial, let's have a look. And I'd like to thank for this question to Michael. So let's start. What does it mean? If I will create new 3D model and we will say that this, for example, the mass is the name and I will use the really empty template, so no datum planes are created or any parameters. So if I will create new shape, for example, simple extrude feature, and we will create a rectangle, and the base dimension will be 100 per 100. So what does it mean? We are able to specify that weight will be in the good calculations. So what does it mean? If I will specify the dimension 100 per 100 per 100 millimeters and we will apply the steel material, then in reality the final weight has to be 7.85. This is the default value. But let's have a look. What does it mean? Now you can see that in my model tree I put the weight parameter here. If you do not know how to do it, we can simply to select the three columns and then, for example, I will put it away. So double click, put it away. And if you would like to add this one, it's a model parameter and we will write here that you would like to see in the model tree yeah, parameter weight. So if I will come from OK, we will see it. And what does it mean? We will calculate also this information by relation, but step by step. I mentioned that in the model properties, we are able to specify the custom material. You can see here that right now the system allowed to me apply the default material, but I'd like to change it. So we would like to, from the material directory, specify that we would like to apply the steel. If I will see the density 7.85, so in reality, after calculation, we will need to get 7.85. So confirm, confirm. And over here, we can see that this is the mass properties calculation. So if I will select, we are able to run calculate. And the system will mass calculation 7.85 because this is the diameter is 100, 100, 100 for the, this cube. If I will confirm, nothing is changed, nothing is visualized, nothing is calculated. It was only visible in the system. If you would like to see this information as the calculation, as the calculated weight, we have to create a relation. So we are able to specify a new relation and I will reuse this simple relation. So weight equal MP mass and bracket and necessary things. So this is the default calculation for mass properties. And if you will, you can write the, any type kind of the parameter here, but I choose the weight. So if you will specify that, please calculate this relation. System will wrote for me that is everything calculated. And we see that weight parameter is really 7.85. So what does it mean? Now we are able to see the information directly in model tree. But maybe we would like to see some changes. So what does it mean? We will change the dimension, for example, like this, doesn't matter what the size will be. And if I will select regenerate, nothing happened. And question why? You said that you would like to see updated weight, but no, the weight is still 7.85. I will show you some information from the configuration option. So what does it mean? In the environment, we are able to specify custom configuration option. Now is the mass underscore property underscore calculate. And this uh, configuration option, I have prepared it here, is better for the copy. We would like to see that the default value is by request. So what does it mean? That calculation is changed based on the request. So if I would like to change it, I have to specify file options and so on. But over here, I have a selected model properties. So we are able to select the mass properties, change, and push the button calculate. If I confirm, oh, yeah, we have a new mass, confirm OK, close, and then I have to select Control G as regenerate. And now you can see that weight is updated. So maybe it's not convenience, and you would like to change it immediately. So what does it mean? We will select this parameter, mass properties, calculate. And we are able to change configuration options. So please select file, option. 
and then configuration editor and find and we are able to found the mass properties calculate we can see that by request over here is the star means default but i like to show you for example you can use the function check upon save so what does it mean i will only confirm and close okay and i don't want to apply these changes for my config so i will use the no now we will make the changes yep and again i will use the control g nothing is changed and if i will save this model the system wrote for me the conflict info mass properties are not calculated so what does it mean i have to really select manually model properties mass properties calculate confirm ok close regenerate now the weight is two kilograms and we can save it and no more errors so it's really necessary to use the manual calculation and regeneration and the system is able to show this message for you when we are using this function when you have to and or if you have a really big assemblies if you have a thousand of objects in the assembly and you will use the automatic calculation that system need to really calculate the huge assembly and take time so please specify when you will apply automatic calculation or by request or only the prompt it's up to you but we can continue i would like to show you how to works how works the system with the automatic calculation so i will again select the mass property calculate file options and select configuration editor i will found it again i use this function because over here is nice drop down menu you can also see that is the possible to report or automatic so now i would like to focus on the automatic and show you how it works so i will use the add change close okay and i don't want to save it so what does it mean now the weight is two kilograms and we will change the shape yeah for example like this i will double click next to model what does it mean system will regenerate and now it's three kilograms if i would like to put it back we will put 100 and in reality after Control G regenerate it's a 7.85 so if you do not use the really really huge assemblies you are able to use automatic calculation for the weight or mass okay so now you understand how to specify relations and how to parameter works and what does it mean mass properties calculate and what values are able to use okay let's continue to the assembly if I will create new assembly and main assembly and I'd, I'd like to directly put the object to the assembly so the mass model and we can simply to use default and OK so now we can see that model is added to the assembly the model is 7.85 but the whole assembly is zero weight again in my template i'm using the relation so only if i will set a control g the system will automatically regenerate assembly 7.85 kilogram because now we are using automatic calculation i will put another model yeah simply we can fix it only for the quick visualization and now again control g and it's the 15 kilograms and if we will put another object and again I can fix it now calculation by control G and we have a 23 kilograms so what does it mean we have three same models three times the same component and we can see that we have a same value but maybe you would like to create a cut directly in the assembly so if I will select for example extra feature and over here I will create uh, some cut yeah for example like this doesn't matter what is the size and now if we will use the regeneration control G we can see that last component is not with the same dimension because it has a different mass different weight here yeah? so the automatically system calculate and now the question how it will working in the drawing so if I will create new drawing and we will specify the empty format and for example a2 doesn't matter 
if you look, select the general view, the system would like to create a necessary view for us. So I can use the confirm OK and then we will place the view in the drawing. So it's OK. We don't need to spin. We would like to focus on the information. So the view is fine. And in the view states, we can see that we are using master representation. For future, I will change it and let's speak about the future scenario for the different representation. OK. So now we can jump to the table tab and we would like to create really table from the scratch. So we will specify, for example, the size. We will specify the repeat region. So select the right mouse button left and then select the icon added the repeat region. Then we are able to specify it on the top the name. So for example, over there will be index and so on here. So we can continue that over there will be quantity name and so on so it's really easy but if you would like to see the here the index so we will select double click and we will specify rpt index over there is the quantity so will be rpt quantity and over here i'd like to specify the name assembly member name and over here for example we would like to see the weight so i will specify assembly member user defined and we will specify parameter weight. So we can change the name here and also we can add weight that will be visible here. As you can see, if I will use the regenerate, the system will automatically regenerate table or you are able to use the update table. Now we can see that we have a three different cubes yeah, with the name mass. So name is mass here, you can see it here. And quantity for now, we don't focus. But with the repeat region, we are able to change attributes and etc. But you can check the previous tutorial regarding repeat region and you can learn more. Over here, I'd like to show you that we get the same information that, for example, the first cube is 7.85, second is 7.85, and last one is 6.30. 347 yeah sorry and what does it mean maybe you would like to automatically calculate the weight directly or immediately also here based on what you are able to see in the repeat region so for example i will add the additional row on the bottom so only select this line so only select the line and select and confirm so what does it mean over here we would like to see the total value for example for the weight so over here i will write the total yeah and it's okay and now we would like to automatically calculate these numbers which are here so we are able to use the function repeat region summation the system will ask me select region and also we would like to add the information by name and we will choose assume the member weight we will specify the custom parameters so for example all 001 enter and then system pick a table cell when summation will be placed. So I will select this cell and confirm with middle button and it's okay. If I will regenerate control G and automatic, the system, the system will automatically show me the calculated value really from the repeat region. So if I will add some components or delete some components or mass will be changed, this calculation will be made immediately from the visible values. If you will hide some components also from the repeat region, the system will calculate. So these two numbers can be independent. I will show you how it works. So what does it mean? We would like to continue with the explanation when we, you would like to work with a simplified representation because also this question came from you and you would like to understand this topic. So let's have a look, focus on the another example. So I will jump to the main assembly. In the main assembly, we will quickly create the simplified representation as the new and two components. Yeah, it will be named. So it doesn't matter what is the name. We would like to see everything. So I will specify that is the master representation. A middle component will be not visible, so will be excluded. We will confirm OK or open and immediately the object is hidden. So what does it mean? Master representation with, with all components and over here we will have only two components. Now 
we would like to see if it is working everything fine so also for example we will change the extrude feature and I will specifically regenerate and we can see that it's five kilogram now for this component and the middle component is still not visible back to the drawing and in the drawing we will create the new general view but we are able to specify directly here that if you select view display no sorry view states we are able to specify which representation we would like to use so simply for representation to components if we will specify apply the object is changed now uh, we are able to continue with the table so I will create table from scratch yeah it will be only something what you can repeat so simple create two rows and then only specify that you would like to create repeat region right mouse button left and repeat region and we double click we will specify the repeat for example index over here will be repeat QTI quantity over there can be name so assembly member name and assembly member user defined as weight if you would like to know more on the web page 4ksi.com you can find a whole description for this repeat region functionality and attributes meaning yeah everything is specified if I will use the update table now the system will show me only information from the first component and second component the only two components are here because the simplified representation is activated so really be careful if you are working with a master representation and you place the repeat region table or if you are working with a simplified representation and what you are able to see and also as you can see here right now the weight is calculated and if you would like to see the calculated weight we can create an add row and again we can specify that there will be total yeah maybe in the bracket representation yeah you will know that is for representation and again repeat region we will use the summation from this repeat region we will add by name as a member weight we will specify parameter all 002 for example and then system ask me where to put final results over here we will with middle button confirm two times and regenerate an automatic regeneration so now you can see this calculation is calculated for the representation it's 12 kilograms and over here it's 20 as the total in this video tutorial you have learned how it's possible to specify the relation into model and calculate the weight for the model also what does it mean how the system calculate with mass properties and how the system will show you the information initially in this window or how you are able to specify when object will be calculated specified by mass properties calculate in default is request maybe not useful but suitable for big assembly or automatic when you are able to do and see the changes immediately so and at the end I try to show you how to work and calculate the information for the master model assemblies or simplify representation so we have we can have a two different results and thank you again for the question Mike and see you later bye bye Vladimir